Okay, today we'll be opening up a couple of Fram oil filters. Yep, this old Fram oil filter, number DG30, and this new Fram oil filter, number PH30, that I got at Walmart for $4.16. And you're probably wondering where I got this old double guard Fram oil filter. Well, a very generous viewer, whose name is Caleb, from Roscoe, Texas, sent me this oil filter. Thanks, Caleb. I just bought this frame filter, so I know it's brand new. But this frame filter here, I don't know how old it is. Because I haven't seen the date code yet, because I haven't opened it up. I just wanted to show you guys how, uh, how this filter is uh, sealed up. We'll take a little trip back in time and see why they made this gimmicky Teflon oil filter. And compare it to today's Extra Guard oil filter. So let's get started. Let's just set that way. Okay, so let's start with this frame double guard oil filter. And I'll open it up. I'll open it up right now. Okay, we'll look on the bottom here. We got a date of 2001 Honeywell. I'm going to hold these steady for a second so you can freeze these if you want to read all this. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to read all this. the French side I think it looks like the the filter media itself is is treated with this Teflon stuff well, let's open it up and see what it looks like I see some rust and it's, this filter's got a sticker and that's the that's the size let's see if I can find any date, date code on here or anything they started making these double guard oil filters in 1996, but I don't know when they stopped making them. And here it says made in USA. No, I can't find a date code anywhere, but if I do find one, I'll let you guys know. Eight inlet holes. Oh, a lot of grooves there for the threads. There's about at least four there. Metal core with holes, and there's no bypass valve on this filter. Nitro rubber gasket, I would think. Pretty thick. Yeah. I was hoping for a date code on here, but I don't see one. All right, well, let's look at the frame extra guard. Now, the frame extra guard we got, it's rated for 10,000 miles, silicone ink drain back valve. And if we look over here, it's for particles greater than 20 microns, and that's at 95%. It's on Fram's website, 95%. All right, let's open up this filter, see what it looks like. Okay, date code, A22511. And this is printed on. We got the sure grip on here. And this filter has eight inlet holes. Metal core with holes, no bypass valve also. And this one looks to have about three grooves. That could need to be cleaned off, I think. And also nitro rubber gasket, looks about the same thickness. It falls off easy, I'll just leave it off now. And this filter also too, it should say on here, um, made in USA. All right, let's open these filters up, see what they look like. Be right back. Okay, here they are cut open, but I want to show you this box real quick. Right here it says, contains as much PTFE as a leading oil additive. And over here we got 96 plus percent single pass efficiency. DuPont Teflon PEF engine treatment. Down here, DuPont Teflon is suspended within the fibers until dispersed with the first oil pass into the engine. So you can see there they got it into the filter media. When the oil goes through, that's when that stuff comes out. Okay, so let's get their weights. The DG weighs 359.4 grams. The extra guard weighs 
345.1 gram. Let's take a look at the gaskets. Gaskets look the same thickness. Yeah, they look both the same. Look fine. The base plates. The extra guard weighs 197.7 grams. DG weighs 200.6 grams. I'll call it double guard from now on. And let's take a look at them up close. They look uh, pretty identical except for the threads. If you look there, this one seems to extend a little further. The double guard, see that? So it's got like one extra, one extra groove there for the threads. Yeah, they all look fine. And I cleaned out this extra guard. Um, and I, I don't know if it was cutting oil or or something in there, but there was something on the thread, but it's not hard. So just need some cleaning up. It's a good practice to do actually. Is clean out these threads on these filters. Shake the can and clean out the threads. Okay, now the filter elements. The extra guard, 55.9 grams. The double guard, 70 grams even. Now let's take a look at the double guard. So we got a crimped seam right here, metal crimped seam. I counted 36 pleats. Okay, and I don't know the filter media, but on the box it says 96 plus percent but it doesn't tell you at what microns I'm assuming that it's probably particles above 20 that's usually what it frames filters are Let's get these cardboard end caps yeah and the extra guard oil filter the extra guard has a glued seam right here and this filter also has 36 pleats and there's no uh, any drain back valve on either of these filters and this filter here it says 95 percent particles greater than 20 microns and it's a cellulose synthetic blend filter media okay and we got here stamp leaf spring they both look the same so i'm not gonna bother weighing them i'll weigh one 8.2 grams they look the same the extra guard weighs 74.9 grams. The double guard weighs 72.3 grams. Let's get their thickness. 0 0.40 millimeters thick. They're both, I was getting about the same on both of them. 0 0.40 millimeters thick. And let's get the width on these guys. This is the double guard. 2.95 inches wide and the extra guard is 2 .9, 2 .91 inches wide I think they're gonna have the same amount of filter media what do you guys think pleats both got deep pleats all right let's cut these guys open stretch them out and see what they look like. Be right back. Okay, here they are stretched out. Both filters are 48 and a half inches long. Okay, so let's get the thickness on these guys. This is the double guard. 1.14 millimeters thick and the extra guard a little bit thinner 0.98 millimeters thick get these guys up close to filter inside back side and let's take a look at these guys under a microscope So the double guard is a little bit thicker. I'm wondering if that's because it's impregnated with the Teflon. I weighed both filter medias and you see that at the end, 
that the double guard is like twice as heavy as the extra guard. So let's look at the rest of the filter. So these stamp leaf springs, these are both the same. Gaskets, I would say they're both the same. Uh, the double guard's got one extra groove. The end caps are the same. The center cores are the same. Yep, these are both the same. And the cans are the same thickness. You know, you got the sure grip on this one, so that probably, it's probably a little bit better. And I couldn't find no uh, date code on this filter anywhere. So, I don't know if this number here would be anything. 489771. But that's, that's the only thing I could find on here. So back when they had these double guards on the shelf, did you guys use these? And again, I want to thank Caleb for sending me this double guard oil filter. And I think I'll wrap this video up. And don't forget Oil Filter Fridays. I open up an oil filter every Friday on this YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching and take care. The Double Guard Filter Media Ways, 37.1 gram. The Extra Guard Filter Media Ways, 18.4 grams.